Michael McGab, everybody. I got me a donation here from Dave Tyrone that made me, that said, hey, man, uh, do your top 10 female singers. And I did. I took me a couple days. I wanted to get it just right. I didn't want to forget anybody. And before I get into my list, I usually do this when I do my top 10s. There are going to be some pickle whistlers out there. I do understand that when I say my list, you're either going to get upset that I put one over the other that you like more, or I didn't add him at all. Well, if you're wondering, where is this artist? It's up your ass, okay? Um, I don't need to explain myself. It's my list, not yours. You don't speak for everybody. You just speak for yourself, just like I speak for myself. This list here only pertains to my thoughts. If anybody agrees, cool. But not a lot of people will agree with my list. But I agree with it. And that's why Dave Tyrone, his donation, he's getting his money's worth because I'm giving my honest uh, review. All right? At number 10, oh, a lot of people love this. Hey, 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 man, she made my list. Don't get me wrong. I'm not the biggest fan of hers. But she did have a great, great voice, especially the song Cry Baby. I'm talking about Janis Joplin. She's at the bottom, top, number 10. But, you know, I'm a casual fan. I own her greatest hits. I like Bobby McGee. I like, you know, I like, I like that greatest hit CD. So I figured she should be on her because she did have a most excellent, crazy, screamy, whiskey voice. And I dug it, all right? Not the biggest fan, but I'm a casual greatest hits fan. At uh, number nine, uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing her name right. It's I think it's Sarine. Sarine, who sang on the Burning Witches album. She's no longer in the band. And their new singer is awesome. She's a little more manly, I think, which is great. Don't get me wrong. Chicks that are manly, you, which you'll hear one. Shit. And number two, I got a manly singing uh, female. But the original singer I liked more. I, I loved her voice. So I put her at number nine. At number eight, uh, really through the strength of her first two albums, and she did have a, a, an album later on that was pretty good, uh, Lita Ford. I love, love, love Alfred Blood and Dancing on the Edge. Love those songs. I love Can't Catch Me off the third album that she did with Lemmy and... Uh, there was a later solo album she did that that rock that was really good, uh, but the one that she did with that with her husband that was well, her ex husband was horrible like something Wonderland or something oof. But anyway, Lena gets on my list. Uh, number I don't know what number I'm on, but I'm going with Doro from Warlock. I love Doro, man. I saw Warlock twice on the Triumph and Agony tour. And she was awesome. I met her. She was super nice. Awesome stuff. And I saw Doro Pesh solo about maybe 10, 11, 12 years ago. And it was such a fist-pumping metal show. Yeah, she's called the Metal Queen for a reason. I think she's the Metal Queen. A lot of people are called Metal Queens, like Lita and stuff. To me, Doro is the Metal Queen. And number six, Pat Benatar. Yeah, not fronting a band. Um, but I love her. I love her voice. Uh, saw her, I don't know, like four or five months ago. She's amazing. I love her. Her husband's a great guitar player. You know, Hells for Children, Heartbreaker, Shadows of the Night. Love that stuff, man. So Pat Benatar makes my list. All right, I believe I'm at number five. And I'm going to add two singers on this from Fleetwood Mac which is Stevie Nicks and Christy McVie. Christy McVie had an awesome voice, man. Loved her voice, Songbird. And of course, Stevie Nicks, and I love her solo too. Gave her flowers in the, in the early 90s. I was so close to her, she was awesome. That's my number five, Stevie Nicks and Christy McVie from Fleetwood Mac. And number four, not very well known, but I absolutely love Kay Hanley from the band Letters to Cleo. And she has a couple cool, um, so I'm um, Starlight at the Attic or something like that. Love it. Um, Kay Hanley. I traveled to New York to see Letters of Cleo and I took my good buddy Carlos Guti that wasn't into 
letters to Cleo, but he's such a good friend he took me. But there you go. That's my number four. And number three, Hart. Ann and Nancy Wilson. More Ann Wilson, but Nancy's got a nice voice. But my God, I love Hart. One of my first concerts ever. What an amazing singer. Her voice is just... She's a powerhouse. She probably is technically the most powerhouse singer on my list. Uh, love Hart. Awesome. All right, number two. Not a popular one, but to me, nobody had more balls than Wendy O. Williams. Yeah, that woman, man, Playboy said to her, we want to take pictures of you naked. She said, well, you're going to have to throw me on an airplane and I'll get up there naked and jump off the airplane, parachute off. That's the only way I'll take pictures for, for Playboy. What a badass she was. And yeah, in my top 10 greatest albums of all time is the Plasmatics Coupe de Top. Absolutely blew my mind when I saw her open for Kiss. Amazing, amazing singer. Absolutely love Wendy O. That's why she made it all the way up to my number two. Now my number one, and this is not even, I, I, I believe me, when I did my list, I already put my number one and then I did the rest because I already know what not, my number one is. For sure, Agnieta and Frida, man, ABBA, the greatest voices in pop music and music in general. Uh, may not be as strong as Ann Wilson, but it's more beautiful to my ears. Winners take it all. Uh, you know, Frida singing Super Trooper. Uh, ABBA is, to me, the greatest pop band ever. And I absolutely love their music. It's, it just makes me feel good. They're amazing. I love their last album, Voyage. And uh, definitely needs to be at my number one. So there you go, Dave Tyrone. That is my top ten. My top 10. I'm not speaking for nobody out there, and nobody's going to speak for me or anybody. Because anybody out there that thinks I should have this and that, go home. Well, you're already home. I mean, I'm not going to insult you anymore. I mean, you're insulting enough as it is, just your personality. So there you go, Dave Tyrone. Thank you so much for the donation, and I hope you enjoyed my list. And if you'd like to donate, i got a PayPal in the description below. And please, subscribe to my channel if you have not. And stay frosty. Listen to Black Sabbath and please like this video. It's good for the YouTube agnorism. And smack them a gob.